All right, we have a 2018 Ford Interceptor Explorer squad unit. It's uh, basically a Ford Explorer, but they call them the Interceptor Utility. But uh, we're going to program the tire pressure sensor today. And instead of using our fancy tool that tells you the serial number and the temperature and the tire pressure and all the fancy stuff, we don't really need to know all that. The factory gives us this little uh, little tool when we bought it, and that's what I'm going to use today. So basically, how you get this going is you put it in tire pressure learning mode. You turn the key on. You press and release the brake pedal once. Then you cycle the key three times. One, two, three. Now you press and release the brake pedal again. Now you cycle the key three more times. One, two, three. And there, the horn beeped, and now a little message should come up on the dash. Train left front tire. Okay, so on the vehicles, it always goes, you train the left front, the right front, the right rear, then the left rear. Okay, and how we're going to train them is you take this tool, and it's actually got arrows on it, that you point and you point that at the valve stem on the I always go on the rubber part of the tire hold the button and point it at the valve stem and then the horn should beep and that'll indicate that that tire has been trained so here we go here's the valve stem arrow pointing at it press the green button programmed now we'll go over to the right front Aim it at the thing, press the green button, programmed. Now you'll notice the valve stems on these, I put them all at the top of the tire. That's just so uh, normally, when I'm not shooting a video obviously, I would just walk around with the programmer and I don't even have to bend down. I just hit the button, program it, on to the next one. And that, that's just nice because it saves bending over. And it actually saves a little time. And in the mechanic industry, time is money. Now we will look at the dash again. Dash says training complete. So we go over here and there's the OK button. We hit the OK button. The dash goes back to normal. And we're done.